Hi guys, good morning. <clears throat> if you hear music in the background, I don't know if you can hear that, but I have the radio in the bedroom on. I like to leave music on for the cats um, when I'm not home. So I have it on already because I figured, <laughs> I was like, I thought it was later than it when, what it actually was. So, um, but then I realized, oh my gosh, it's barely gonna be 10. So I still have like an hour and a half before I have to leave for work. Um, so I finished breakfast. I had eggs. I had scrambled eggs with, um, with some diced onion and tomato. And then I had, um, some strawberries to go with it. I'm kind of sad because the strawberries that I bought, I think I bought them on, oh, my nose. I think I bought them on Friday, Friday or Saturday. Um, they're already like going bad, but <clears throat> I guess it's because I don't know. I don't know why they're already going bad. They shouldn't. It's only Monday. I don't know, I guess it just depends on the batch that you get. So annoying. So hopefully they'll last me um, through to Wednesday morning, which I'm sure that they will, but I just don't like to eat like mushy strawberries. Um, so, oh my God, I'm gonna have a couple cookies. Like my husband left me just a little bit of cookies. I love these, the mother, Grandma, the like I call them grandma, but I guess they're mother's cookies, chocolate chip. Oh my god, these were the ones that my grandma used to buy all the time. <laughs> so it just reminds me of her. Mm. So good. Um. <laughs> mm. Luna was over there. No. She was like, nope, you're filming. See ya. <laughs> so um. Oh. My nose has been running. I don't know if it's allergies or if I'm getting sick because there's a couple people sick at work. Everyone seems to be getting sick right now, so. It's bound to happen. <laughs> um, I need a pack, you guys. I thought of um, doing part of the video diary of me like packing, <laughs> but. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. We'll see. Maybe that'll be tomorrow. <laughs> um, I shouldn't wait till the last minute though to pack, but I do. But I kind of know, like, I wrote down a list of like everything that I want to pack, <laughs> like basically the days. So I wrote down like Wednesday, what I'm gonna wear on the plane, and then what I'm gonna wear that night when I change. So I just like to be prepared and make sure I have a little bit of everything and then an extra shirt or an extra pair of underwear or whatever. So, because the worst thing is like when you don't pack something that you need and then it's like you need it and you don't have it and you have no access to it and then you gotta go buy something else. It's just, I've had that happen to me when I went <coughs> to my sister's house. So most annoying thing ever <laughs> sorry guys that's the last cookie I promise <laughs> mm. I don't need to be choking on camera um <clears throat> So, um, what do I want to talk about? I don't really have any, I don't have anything to talk about, you guys. <laughs> I'm so boring. I'm so boring. Um, <laughs> so I guess we'll talk about like, let's talk about the, um, Let's talk about the seance reading that I did. So, um, okay, so as you guys know, I offer fall readings in my shop right now. So if you wanna book a session with me throughout the month of October, um, you can book a fall themed reading. If you want to, you don't have to. I still have my other readings available. Um, but if you want a fall theme reading, the fall theme readings, um, are done with my dark themed or Halloween themed tarot decks and, and Oracle decks. Um, and the fall theme readings are at a discount price. They're, they're a little bit less than what my normal readings are. 
And then <laughs> the fun thing about the fall theme readings is I use spreads. So when I read normally for, for tarot, I don't use a lot of tarot spreads. Um, I don't, I just like to read intuitively. I like to just pull cards and just see what comes through. Like that's just always been the kind of reader I've been. I guess I could talk about that a little bit, like why I don't use tarot spreads. Um, <laughs> so when I first started learning tarot, um, the tarot spreads were a way to help me keep on track with my reading. So if I wanted to make sure that I answered a certain question or if I wanted to make sure that I got like the answer for the reading, a tarot spread is a really good way to kind of guide you through the reading process, especially if you're new to reading tarot, um, because it could be, unless you're like a full-blown natural, I mean, there's people who are like that, where they're a full-blown natural and they just find it easier to just pull cards and put it together themselves, then all by all means, you know, do it, because that's, that's a cool way of reading too. But I learned with the tarot spreads because um, I was on Tumblr. We used to scroll through the tarot community and people would make their own spreads and then they would post them and stuff and then you could try them out. <laughs> of course she's going to play. Of course, of course she's going to play. Um, and so, um, so I learned with the tarot spreads and I actually have um, tarot like journals. Actually, let's, let's go. Let me let's go with me let me let's go with me let me take you to get my book so i could show you guys what i'm talking about start left please don't mind the tarot room it's a little messy <laughs> okay so i keep my journals <laughs> Sorry guys. I just want to make sure that Starla doesn't go in that room because she likes to knock things down now. That's like her new thing. <laughs> her new thing is to knock stuff off the counter. Okay, hopefully. <sighs> I love this sweatshirt, you guys. <laughs> Polka dots. Okay. Oh no, my nail snagged. I'm gonna have to file that down. That's gonna bug me. Okay. <sighs> All right. So, um, so when I started learning the tarot and and playing around with the tarot spreads, um, I started a tarot spread journal. So this is just a basic journal I bought at Mar Barnes and Noble, I think. <laughs> um, and I was like, I would write down the spreads that I would see on um, Tumblr, or sometimes I would print them out. I don't think I have any of them. Well, sometimes I would have like, I would, you know, tape, tape them in the pages. Um, but I would, you know, write down the spreads and stuff. Oh, excuse me. But then I realized I could create my own. And when I realized I could create my own tarot spreads and create any kind of reading that I wanted, I was like, I could do so much with this. So, um, <laughs> so I started to create my own spreads. Um, and every single page in this book is filled with tarot spreads that I created. Um, I'm not even kidding you. Like, every single page <laughs> I went spread crazy um, and so the way that I used to do my shop back in the day was I would have like themes so like like for for um, fall I have my fall theme readings and that's where I get a lot of my fall theme spreads They're, they were stuff I created years ago um, and I've tweaked them over the time so like if I want to change it up or whatever, or now that I have a little bit more experience under my belt with tarot reading, um, my spreads have kind of enhanced a bit. Um, and so I, it just, it's like my go-to, I have them all in there. 
And so I used to be that reader that would like pick out a spread and create, you know, this, this service out of it. Um, so I have like the sunflower spread, you know, and like, <laughs> it was just like, just this cute, these cute little things, like a spread for it, or the, I had the vacation 411 spread. I mean, I just had a little bit of everything. So that's my spread journal. This is my go-to. I have it all with me always in my tarot room because, um, let's say I want to bring back an old service or, um, let's say a, a, a patron, <laughs> a customer, a client asks a question and I'm like, I think I have a spread for that. I usually resort back to my journal and find it. Um, and then I use it as inspiration, especially if, um, if I feel like, you know, I don't want to do the intuitive type of reading. So, and, in, and you can still do intuitive reading with tarot spreads, but the tarot spread is more like structured. It really helps you stay on track. It's a good guide to keep you, to kind of get you through the reading. And especially if you're like tapping into multiple points for the, for the client, um, it just, it's, it's a really cool way to be structured in your tarot reading. Now, um, reading without tarot spreads is also my fa my favorite and my specialty. Um, you guys see me do it all the time in all, pretty much all of my readings, except for a lot of these cur the current um, Halloween readings that I'm doing. Those I'm using spreads, but um, which is why they're discounted because it's like when you're using a certain spread, I'm using a certain amount of cards, and I can time. That's another reason why I like to do spreads is you could time your reading a lot better. So if I f if I'm like if I'm charging you $20 for um, a 15 minute tarot reading and I'm using a spread, it's easier for me to kind of like, to gauge how long it's gonna take me to do that reading so that I don't go over time or, do, or I don't cut it short. Um, but if you're doing intuitive reading and you're not using a spread and you're just pulling cards, it's really easy to kind of go off on a tangent. Other things pop up. Um, so intuitive reading without spreads is fun. Um, it's really fun. It's really, um, it gives you more free freedom to do more with your cards, but other stuff tends to come into play with the reading. And if you're not comfortable with that, that whole idea of like going outside of the initial question that your client is asking you, um, it could be a little bit, um, you know, just a little bit new for you. Um, but I'm telling you, once you do it, it's, it's, you'll realize you'll, you'll start to figure out, am I a spread crafting tarot reader? Or am I more of an intuitive tarot reader? Um, and so, so I found that when I pull cards and I'm not necessarily using a spread, I'm just pulling cards and I'm reading. Yeah. Other stuff will come up in the reading. So sometimes I'm reading about someone's relationship but then like finances stuff come, starts coming in or um, stuff from someone's past starts to come in or I've even had spirit guides come through. So it's just like, <laughs> it's just like if you're doing an inter intuitive tarot reading and you're not using a spread, um, it could go everywhere. It could go everywhere. So um, I tend to, um, I have to keep myself in check by timing my readings. Um, and that's basically like how I price them. That's, that, that's pretty much how I price my services is like how long, ooh, excuse me, how long is your video reading or how many questions am I allowing you to ask? So, you know, I have some of my services and these are my regular readings, not the Halloween readings, but my regular readings, um, some of my services is like, a one question, three question, whatever. Um, or the layers of you is like a five part reading, you know? And so those obviously will, I'll spend more time with and the length of time it varies. Usually my readings, my on, on an average, my readings range 20 minutes to like 45 minutes depending on what service you're purchasing. Um, but if I'm doing like a mini reading then I really have to make sure, especially if I'm pulling intuitively, I have to make sure that I am keeping my eye on the time because I can easily talk and talk and talk and go above time. And then it's like, next thing you know, you're, you only paid $20 for a mini reading yet you're getting like a full blown reading and that's cool, but, <laughs> but it's kind of like, it's, it's for me, it's like, well, they could have purchased a full blown, full, full blown reading then at that point. So I have to keep myself in check cause I'm the one that goes over time. Um, so anyways, um, the seance reading, that's the whole point of this topic 
Um, so the seance reading, it's available in the fall readings. It's all the way at the bottom, so scroll all the way down. The seance reading is not a tarot spread. It's not a spread that I have. I do have tarot spreads to connect with spirit, but the seance reading is a full-blown intuitive reading um, because I like to give myself that freedom. So I was like going back and forth about that when I was creating it, and I was just like, do I want to do a spread for this one, or do I want to just go like, all out and so <laughs> I opted to go all out and I think it works better that way um, but um, so what happened was I had a seance reading a, a client booked a seance reading and it was the first one it's been the first one that that has been booked this season uh, although I have another a second one that was just booked a couple days ago which is the client's sister so the the client initially they really liked their reading and so the sister booked one too um, and so the seance reading was really cool because um, it's a two-part reading. So the first part of it is me talking about everything that came through when I was sitting and meditating on the question or sitting and meditating on the person's name or sitting and meditating on whatever. And um, and so what I do is I channel, I write. I, I, I just write whatever comes through. That's just always been the way that I connect. And so sometimes stuff comes out from the third eye, sometimes I see it, sometimes I feel it, sometimes I hear it. So whatever the case, it's one of those where I'm like really testing myself to trust what I'm sensing. My hands feel rough, I need to get lotion. Sorry guys. Um, and so, so I was doing, I was doing that reading and, um, and the first part was the, the channel part and I was getting nervous because I get nervous anytime I do um, any kind of like mediumship, or any kind of reading where I'm connecting with spirit because I just worry that um, I'm gonna be wrong or I worry that the, the client isn't gonna connect with anything that I say or they're just not gonna like it. And so all of those thoughts start to creep into my mind. Um, but I have to push it away because I have found time and time again <laughs> what I'm trusting, what I'm getting, and I just go with it. Um, usually the client responds back with like positive a positive review and that's exactly what I got from this seance reading so I was really excited about it because um they were in my first booking for the seance reading this this fall last year um I think I only did one last year and I think I don't think it was called spiritual seance last year I think I, I had it I think it was called something different um and I don't I don't remember if I got a review back from that person or not but sometimes you do sometimes you do sometimes you don't and just because you don't get a review back from someone doesn't mean that they didn't like it so you have to keep that in mind too um, it's just life people are busy or they forget or whatever like they don't have to give you a review <laughs> um, although it is nice because then you get to kind of see like did I do good and or whatnot but um, it's not like mandatory so um, yeah so they really like their reading and um, I, when I connected, I just trust it. I just trust, really that's what it is, is you just have to trust what is coming through, what are you experiencing, feeling, hearing, seeing, and writing it down. I have to write it down or else I won't remember. Um, and so that's the first half of the seance reading is going through the channeled portion. And then the second half of the reading is the tarot reading. So I like to combine the two because I do tarot readings. That's what I do. So I have to do that. Like I have to pull cards. <laughs> so the second half of the, of the seance is a basic tarot reading and I pull cards and I just go through whatever comes through and it just works. And it was just so much fun. And I was pumped for it because, um, you know, it's this time of year. So it just feels so magical. And it made me feel even better when um, when the client emailed me back and told me, you know, that that they the, the, there was things that totally resonated and that they enjoyed it and this and that and that their sister wanted to book a session and so their sister did. So I still have to do um, that seance reading um, and then I have a couple other orders to do and it's just a wacky week for me so <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a reading tonight if I can't get to it then I'm not gonna force it because I just I need it to be I need the energy around me and I need the environment to be stress-free or like <laughs> stress to a minimum 
Um, and because this week is really crazy for me, I'm, you know, I'm like packing, I'm going to be leaving and I'm worried about my cats being by themselves and, and just hoping that, you know, my friend can like get here and feed him and he knows what to do and the alarm doesn't go off. Oh my God. There's just a lot on my mind. <laughs> so, um, because of that, I do feel like I'm mentally distracted right now. And so, I'm just kind of worried. I don't want to, I don't want to tam, I want, I don't want that to tamper with a client's reading. And so I'm really careful with that where I won't do the reading unless I feel good about it. So, um, if I don't, if I come home tonight from work and I just don't feel good, I feel off, I'm probably going to end up emailing my clients that have bookings that are pending. Um, and just let, letting you guys, so if you guys watch my YouTube channel, then you'll get the message here. But if not, I will be emailing you guys, but, um, that, that <laughs> your, your readings may be delayed up until at least Sunday, Monday, next Sunday, Monday, cause today's Monday, um, because of that reason. So I just want to make sure that you guys are aware. I'm not like, not, I'm not, it's not like I'm like taking your money and running. Like I've never done that. <laughs> I always fulfill readings when I need to. Um, but sometimes, like I said, life happens and this is just a crazy week. So it'll be done with sa Saturday night. I'll be back home with my husband and it'll be back to normal as normal as normal can be. <laughs> but yeah, so I just got to get through this week. Um, and so the spreads journal, this is the other spreads journal that, um, that I started because I finished, I finished this book. And so I needed a new one, so I started this one. And oh, this is where my spreads are. So I have more spreads. This is spreads that I scribbled at work one day. And this was the birth of a lot of my Halloween readings, like literally the fortune teller. Like this was, I started it on just scratch paper and I was like, that's when I got that idea of doing so many spreads for Halloween and all that stuff. So then I have like other spreads that I, um, that I've saved from online and um and yeah it's just really cool like <laughs> I save them and, and whatnot but it's just I love it I freaking love I love tarot spreads I just don't always use the tarot spreads with my readings anymore and then of course I started like a tarot spreads all personally created by me volume two <laughs> this is the second journal and of course this one's not even close to being full I have you know a nice chunk chunk there in the beginning but are you okay <laughs> I think she hiccuped um so yeah I just I, it's like maybe like this much oh no maybe not maybe like oh wow I have more than I thought so like that much and then I still have a good chunk of the book so um, I do aim to fill this one up as well, um, but I just haven't, I haven't been spread crafting as much as I used to, but it is something that I really enjoy doing. I love it. I just love to see what comes out and, um, and all of that, but yeah, so that's my whole like stance on tarot spreads. I love them and I use them and they do pop up in, in some of my services every once in a while, but for the most part, I would call myself more of a, an intuitive tarot reader where I just pull cards and I put a story together based on how I intuitively and energetically connected to you guys. <laughs> that's like, a, I guess that's like a fancy way of saying it. Um, yeah. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and head out. This is going to be a shorter video. It's 1020. I need to film the weekly energy reading, so I need to do that and put that on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please make your way over to the Cackling Moon um, on Instagram. Follow me there. I do post weekly energy readings. I post daily tarot messages, so like daily insight messages for, for guidance for the day for you guys. Um, and then I just post like it's just kind of like my Instagram is kind of a blend of my personal, somewhat personal life versus like tarot and, and all of that. But it's just kind of a blend of everything. But if you want another dose of me, you can follow me on Instagram. If you want another dose of me where my Gemini rising comes out to play, like a lot of my ranting and like, you know, more sassy stuff will come out on my Twitter. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is cackling moon. So everything is below if you want to figure out where you can go find me in other places, if you're just obsessed and you need more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, um, but other than that, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and head out, let you guys go. Have a beautiful week. It's Monday. Enjoy the fact that this is the final day of September and we begin October tomorrow. Enjoy it, you guys. Have a beautiful day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.